I'm Chen Yang Lu. I'm full, full graph professor of computer science and engineering uh, in the McKelvey School of Engineering. I also have a secondary appointment as professor of medicine. I work on AI for medicine. Um, so the idea is to bring the most advanced artificial intelligence technologies to medicine, um, solving complex medical problems. Um, AI has become super important data-driven tools for medicine and healthcare. Um, using AI and combined with a ton of data, right, we can phenotype complex diseases, uh, predicting uh, clinical outcomes, and tailor you know, individualized treatment for precision medicine. For example, um, so we have this collaborative research uh, with surgeons on predicting uh, post-operative outcomes of pancreas surgery. So it would be really useful for medicine if we could predict uh, if a patient would develop severe complications after the surgery, right? So if a patient is fit for surgery, they can go ahead with the surgery uh, with less worry about potential risk. On the other hand, if they are at high risk, um, they can go through a prehabilitation program uh, and you know, make them more suitable for surgery before they go for it. So this is a very useful predictive tool that's enabled by AI and data. So my doctoral students here uh, work on a wide range of important clinical problems uh, that require data-driven right, AI-based solutions. They not only develop the most advanced AI models right, uh, in terms of cutting-edge computer science research, but also seamlessly integrate these solutions in medicine uh, to impact right, patient care and medical research. My research is focusing on building a smart kitchen for patients after stroke. Uh, we are using AI, machine learning, and assistive technology to analyze human behaviors and help those uh, cognitively impaired patients after stroke. We will uh, use uh, video analytics to uh, analyze the patients when they are doing cooking and use machine learning to predict what they are doing. In our smart kitchen system, we will have a speaker that automatically generates voice when the patients forget to do something. For example, forgetting to add water into the pot when they are doing cooking tasks. My research is about applying machine learning and AI techniques, such as predicting clinical outcomes. For example, we use machine learning models to predict patients' complications or diseases during surgery. We also apply machine learning models for clinicians. For example, you know, during COVID, uh, the burnout is a, a, one of the critical issues for clinicians. Um, we use AI and machine learning models to monitor clinicians' burnout and their risk by um, analyzing their clinical activities, interacting with the hospital's clinical systems. As a PhD student in our lab, um, our job is to do the modeling. So usually, um, the, because we're doing uh, deep collaboration with the medical school, so they're usually preparing the data for us. So our job is to translate the clinical problems defined by those uh, medical experts in medical school into computation problems. And we can solve those computation problems using machine learning and AI techniques. So my recent research focus is to develop machine learning models to predict the post-surgical recovery of patients undergoing the Luber spine surgery. So with the development of technology, there are wearable devices like Fitbit and smartwatches that can keep track of your physical activities and other important information, such as the heart rate, your sleep quality, and your step count in an unobtrusive manner, even when the patients are discharged from the hospital and stay in their home. It feels so different when you are actually involved in a project that has real life impact. I feel confident that whichever direction I decided to go in the future, my experience in WashU will guide me there.